Not a problem. Make him. Oh. So, little hunter, do you know much history? A little, enough. Our culture is 500 years after yours. Simpler technology, debased by comparison. A delicate way to put it. But have you ever wondered why there are only 85 Tastin tombs? The Tastin culture lasted seven centuries, at least 32 generations. Our population numbered millions. Why only 85 tombs? I'll give you a clue. We were not necessarily royalty. Another caste in your society? In a sense. Go on. A scientist caste? A holy order? Priests? No. Who then? A wealthy minority? Merchants? Criminals being punished? You said you knew history. You don't even know what happened to our culture. You vanished. Went away like the Mayan and Anasazi peoples did eons ago. Your cities were abandoned, reduced to slag by housekeeping programs. So where did we go, Benny? Our millions. Our millions, Benny. Into these tombs. All coded in, stored here. You're the guardians of your race. 85 repositories, but housing millions. Uh, you really have no idea, do you? A great culture, possibly the greatest the world has known, reaches a point where it gives way to a simpler, less sophisticated successor. Why would we allow it? Tamara, I, I can't think. All this, everything I'm seeing, I'm sorry. I just can't think. Of course. But I'm sure something will come to you. Apart from me, that is. Maybe you would think a little better if you stopped spinning in circles. That was all cinematic. That was not me doing that. Alright, let's get out of here. So this is tomb 35, and we know there are 85 tombs total. So obviously... Italian needs to come back and make 84 more sequels to this game. This needs to happen. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Sansalard. It was a long time before I came to love the sky station at Sansalard. My husband and I spent a year among the great machines, convinced we'd never be warm again. But when we left, curious thing. We found we treasured the place. The silence after snowfall. The aurora flaring across the sky. The creaking of the walkways in the arctic wind. Anyone who spent time at Sansalard is haunted by it forever. Alright, so we have a thing here. Okay. I've... I don't know what that was. I'm really hoping that this is not another sound puzzle. It's a sound puzzle. Uh, crap. All right. Uh, oh, man. What is this? Some kind of combination lock, obviously, that will let me get up there. So, Benny, do you have an answer for me yet? Why would a great culture like ours come to an end, allow you to succeed us? I can only think of two answers. There was some enemy. You could say that. Or... We're your descendants. You simplified your culture, someone did, and became us. All right. So what about these tombs? Why only 85? Tamara, I really can't think. I don't know. Then let me give you another clue. We became you 
As you say, all but 85 did. What does that tell you? You refuse to go along with the change? What's that? Refuse to? <laughs> You're angering the defense program, Benny. You're really not that bright, you know that? Oh, man. All right. Oh, I don't even know where to start. What is this? Some kind of central repository? Probably where our crystal is? Ugh. Jump your stumpy legs. Alright. Okay, so let's see what we can see. So we have this thing. This tells us what? That these beams are going to four locations? One, two, three, four towers? And each of those towers has a combination lock. Oh, that, that's interesting. That bridge goes under this. Let's uh let's see what's in there. If I can figure out how to get around there. Okay, and we know that the combination lock is based on symbols that are given by these. And we can match we can almost certainly match the sounds on those to the sounds on these. But I'm not sure what that gets us. Maybe something in this cave will tell us. Nope. It's just another walkway. Look at that view, Benny. Benny. I never grow tired of it. I want to know what's down there. How do you get to that? Obviously, it's inside this rock. Interesting. Ah, I want to go to these places. But they're almost certainly not part of this. All right. Um, all right, well, let's stop walking around and actually do something here. So we have these things all over the place. What... I mean, what's the point of these? Right, there has to be some kind of correlation here. Are there two of these things on each tower island? Here's one. No. It's not like if there are two of these on each tower island, then those two are the two that correspond to the combinations. Right? Because it looks like each of these only gives us half the puzzle. Or half the combo lock.
I need some way of tying these to the towers. Um, let's see. Some way of tying these to the towers. Alright, what do we know? Let's see, we have a gear spinning to the left, a wheel spinning to the right, and a gear spinning left, or a pinwheel spinning left, rather. Okay. Okay, maybe we have something here. So, of these, are those different on each tower? Down, down, right down upright we might have something here down up left down down right up up left okay so now unless you know this is nothing and I'm just seeing things we can now associate these with the towers uh Okay, so we have four towers, right? Let's call these... Let's call this one one. I need a new sheet of paper here. Okay, so let's call this tower one. What is tower one? We're assuming that these can be uniquely identified based on the direction of these three wheels. I don't know if that's accurate, but we're going to go with it. So this is down, right down. Tower 2 is up, left, up. Uh, tower 3 over here is down, left, up. And tower 4 here is down right up. All right. So, we know that each of these towers has a combination lock that consists of four symbols, right? And we know that these things give us two symbols each. We don't know if it's the top half or the bottom half, but we know that it gives us two symbols. We also know that when we click it, it makes a sound. These presumably correlate to the towers. This one does not go to this tower. This one goes up, left, down. None of the towers go up, left, down. What if I look at it from this side? Down, left, up? We do have a down, left, up. So this might... I realize that this is a little shaky, you know, looking at it from the back side and having it correlate better, but... Um, so if that's correct, this correlates with tower three. And we know that this makes a sound, so I think we need to match this sound with that sound. Uh, with the sounds from those things. And that will give us two sounds per tower, which will give us the combinations. So, let's start with this one. This one goes to number three. Okay, kind of a whale and then a lightning. I don't know what tower this goes to, but what is this? Okay, kind of a whale and then a radio static. Just trying to get an idea for what the different kinds of sounds are. So we have whale lightning, whale radio static. Whale 
lightning whale. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. If it, if every sound was preceded by a whale, then I could have just marked sound, but it's actually two sounds. The sounds possibly correlate to the symbols. Each of these gives two symbols. We'll see. Okay, so we think this down, left, up correlates to tower three. 